Hello, this is Randy Cook with FS Logics, and in this demonstration, I'll be showing you how you can use some of the features of FS Logics apps to do uh, basic redirection. Uh, four different types of redirection are supported file redirection, directory redirection, registry value, and registry key redirection. Uh, in this demonstration, I'll be showing you file redirection. Uh, as you'll notice here on this system, right off of the root of the C drive, I have a key pass folder. And inside of that folder, I have for the key pass uh, executable. I can go ahead and start that. It'll ask me uh, some questions. I'll make some configuration changes. Um, we'll go ahead and, and say we want to have an oblique font. And uh, you'll notice that's taken effect right there. And after I exit the application, this INI file has been created uh, to hold those configuration changes that I made. Uh, this works great on a single user system, assuming you have writes in that folder. Uh, but on a multi-user system, this presents a problem because all of the different users that log on to that system and use this application will be trying to write to this INI file and uh, that will obviously not work. So let me show you how uh, FS Logics apps can help solve this problem. Um, let me look in here. I've got a rule file uh, created for KeyPass. And as you can see, uh, this is a redirect rule. And it says that every time somebody tries to access the KeyPass INI file in that particular directory, that request will be redirected to their user profile and a KeyPass subdirectory there and an INI file inside of that directory. Um, this will work for reads, writes, creates, whatever kind of accesses are uh, made to this particular file. You have the option to copy the file on an initial uh, open of the file. Um, if you have a file there that you want to have everybody get a copy of, you can, you can do that. In this case, this won't matter because uh, we're not uh, going to have the INI file there to begin with. Okay. So to make that effective on this system, I simply put a copy of that rules file into the rules directory. And right away, that is now taken effect. So let me show you now the difference here. Um, I'll start key pass the way I did before. Uh, we'll make the same changes that we did before. We'll set oblique. We'll notice that that has taken effect here with the application. Um, I can go ahead and close that. If I open that again, you can see that that uh, has remained persistent, but there's no INI file here. Where that has been created is over in the administrator's user's uh, directory. There's a now a folder called KeyPass in here, and that's where the INI file was redirected to. Let me show you really quickly how this can work for another user as well. So here we have Tommy, and we'll notice that in Tommy's directory, there's no key pass directory yet, but we'll go ahead and launch this and make some, some unique settings for Tommy here. Uh, we'll say that he wants to have everything be bold in his setup here. And just that quickly, you can see this folder is created, and there is the INI file that's holding Tommy's data. I can go ahead and start this up again, and you'll notice that I'm not getting the same settings as the administrator. Let me switch back over there real quickly, and we'll launch it for administrator, and he still has got his settings there. That's just a quick demonstration of how uh, you can use FSLogix apps to solve some of the basic problems on multi-user systems. And again, the, the different uh, types that are supported are file, which we demonstrated, you can also do directory, registry value, and registry key. Thank you for watching.